Slavery will never be history if you can't set your minds free. Take it. Yeah. Slavery will never be history if we only believe in just let it be. Oh yeah 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 Captivity, even though we are born free, right now, set yourself free. Basically, uh, I think it's, it's worth to find out if, uh, if there is a possibility for a record. Mm -hmm. And I said, we are not a record company, but as a publisher, we of course have uh, possibilities with record companies to find out right. if they like to release it. Mm -hmm. I would advise to go for an album, I said. Mm -hmm. uh, you have new material enough for? Yeah I, I, yeah, I have enough material for an album. Yeah. Did you make demos already? Yeah, I have a couple of demos I've made already. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, like it's five songs yeah. but I have some other stuff that I want to add yeah. new stuff that I've been working on but it's not has not reached to the yeah. I mean to the final demo stage of really listening it's just basically worked out on box guitar and things like that yeah. Yeah. but um, I mean I'm ready for it you know yeah. Ah. 
views. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, to show who sort of martyrs, you know. I mean, not literally gun martyrs, like starvation, you know, and things like that. Ignorance. Murder, you know. Yeah. I'll try that this uh, chorus part once again. I feel good about it, you know, and then we put the fist. Yeah? Me, me, I feel irie. <laughs> me, I'm irie. Check out the spots. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let, let's run through it and then... Uh... Well, right now what I'm doing, or what I'm experiencing at the moment, is, is working on this particular recording here with the hope of, of trying to get into the, the electronic world like so many of the other musicians have done. And it's, it's not, it is not something that uh, is quite easy or simple as it looks, like you press a button and then you have a song. That's permanent, it's wild, wild birds, something on the same. Consider the main thing is, is you get a steady rhythm, rhythm track done, and then you feel on the rhythm track. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree on that point, of course. of like like uh like if if it's salsa or anything is really um is really africans not be doing you know like it's just i think the first track is good this track now you you will be answering what i'm playing when you hear right Deze productie heb ik uh, en dus, uh, die Afrikaanse trommels gebruikt. En eigenlijk zou ik ook nog uh, de timbales gebruiken. Maar uh, het, uh, ze achten het nodig dus om het via de sample te laten lopen. Nou, het verschil is, is dit: dus dat uh, uh, als mijn geluid wordt opgenomen in de sampler, je verder te maken krijgt met, met mensen die het nodig vinden om aan die knoppen te draaien. Daar vindt al direct een vervorming van dat naturele geluid plaats. Als ik nu zo sla op die trommel, is rauw. Dat is mijn vel en dat vel van een dier. En hierdoor kan ik direct mijn, uh, mijn feeling en mijn vibraties, wat ik in mijn hart heb, naar buiten brengen. You don't think it's too dry? I'm talking about the color with yeah, the Afrikaans drum is clean. Yeah, the, the clean color. And who you playing, right? Yeah. Because if, if you think that it's too dry, then we change it. No, I think, I think it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Ik hoor wel iets vreemd, 
maar dat andere fluit volgens mij. Wat, wat, wat is dit? Is dit een dubbel of een tweede partij? Dit is een, du een dubbel gewoon. Dat is wel heel leuk hoor, om op uh, zo'n manier uh, in de studio te, uh, aan de gang te gaan. Wat ook nog leuk is, is dat de uh, arrangementen voor, voor keyboards, waar het eigenlijk voor bedoeld was, in principe, dat er toch nog ruimte was om uh, ook een heleboel akoestische dingen erin te zetten. De uh, origine flautist. En het was toch een hele grote vrijheid om uh, ideeën gewoon te laten gaan. En een heleboel dingen te proberen. Bijvoorbeeld op die track Birds on the Fest hebben we een heleboel akoestische tracks opgenomen. Dus echt, echt de fluitjes opgenomen. En dat maakt het wel een stuk gezelliger. Of een stuk uh, um, lively eigenlijk. Hè? Computers zijn wel leuk, maar uh, ja, dat is er wat, uh, vaak heel erg mechanisch van. Dat is ook weer heel erg uh, andere productietjes die met, waar je gevraagd wordt om computerarrangementen te maken. Nou ja, dat is, uh, die maak je dan, dat is klaar. Weet je wel. Dat, dit was, het was toch een heel bewegelijk project. Ik bedoel, het, uh, het verschilde bijna van uur tot uur of zo. Het groeide ook gestaag. Maar dat is een, een heel leuk avontuur, zeg maar. One of the things that really impressed me in working with Suriname was the language, the local language. Uh, the, and the music, for instance, like the classical music. And I had the opportunity of really playing with, with some of the local musicians and making a lot of music. And later on, I, I recorded uh, this very popular Japanese singer. We made a, quite a commercially successful uh, record. I really enjoy working on song tracks because I, I find that working on song tracks gives, us, gives you more uh, mileage as a musician to capture those, uh, those little pieces of melodies that may, you may never ever be able to use in, in, in pop songs. You really could go off into a lot of imaginations and you could experiment a lot with songs that that in the in the end suit the images that is really required for the, the, the documentary or the, the subject matter that you're working on.
well. We live in captivity, even though we are born free. Right now, set yourself free. thinking about what uh, what market this music would fit into and we in general it's it's kind of like reggae you know but That's we're right. trying to put it into a you know western a western form so yeah. we didn't want to really get cornered in a in a specific reggae market because I think they have certain ideas about what reggae music should be yeah we wanted very much to be European I mean I mean the way I was looking at it, it's like if uh, if Paul Simon you know who's a Western performer That's goes right. to Africa He's putting his Western lyrics and That's his right. Western. Well, I mean, it's, it's just the op yeah. It's like yeah. Richie. Richie is coming from the Caribbean, and yeah. he's you know he's bringing his Caribbean influence. So why isn't it normal that he would bring a, a to, to be influenced by the Western music? That's you right. know, I know he's influenced by Bruce Springsteen and U2, as well as the great the great reggae artists like Bob Marley and all. And, you know, from being in Jamaica, yeah. and I think. Uh, but I know the problem. A lot of people see see him as as a black. Um, you know, Caribbean performer, yeah. and so we should stay in that corner. And I don't think we want to stay in that corner. You know, I think we want to come out and say, well, we're we're bridging a gap. You know, between the Western, uh, the Western sound that he's influenced yeah. by. See, so it's just the opposite of say Paul Simon That's right. and his and his yeah. situation. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah, it's 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 much easier for like a like a, a Western musician to go to Africa, make music, or come to the Caribbean and make music, and then take it back. But they're not seen as a, a Caribbean musician. That's right. But when a, a Caribbean musician comes, you're seen as a Caribbean musician. So it's, it's, it really puts you in a corner because <laughs> you come into the Western society with, with what you have. Yeah. And, yeah. and then you're, you're still uh, put into that bracket as being a Caribbean musician. Yeah. And that I find really uh, it's not ordinary because Nobody looks at uh, Paul Simon, like was mentioned, as being an African musician. That's right. Even though his music, as the, the, the last uh, record, is predominantly with an African right. sound. Mm. His song goes further than just a simple, uh, simple reggae tune or a roots reggae tune. It is, uh, I think it's a nice crossover to the European market. Could you put up the music a little bit?
We live in 